viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, in this video, I am going to teach you how to simplify the rational number expression, right? right? So, we can go with the basic onwards. So, first, here I just can draw an example. 7 plus 3 by 5. So, that will be a one whole number, one rational number. So, now we can add a one whole number and a rational number, right? So, when we given a 7 plus 3 by 5, you can check the rational number. Here 3 by 5, so it is in a proper fraction form. The above one is a smaller, the below denominator is a larger one. So what are you supposed to do for this? You just write 7, 3 by 5 as it is. Clear? Next step. Second example, one whole number plus the proper fraction. So what are you supposed to do? 10, 2 by 5. You don't need to take LCM and it is multiplied. No need. Simply just write a whole number and a fraction. That's all. Next. Now, Third one, 7 plus 5 by 3. So, 7 plus 5 by 3. 5 by 3, here it is an improper fraction. So, what you supposed to do? You just find how many 3's are there in a 5. Here, how many 3's are there in a 5? Only one 3. Then, the remaining 2. Right? So, what you supposed to do? You can add this 2. 1 plus 7, 8. Then, remaining 2. Then, divide the by 3. That's all. Clear? So what are you supposed to do? When they given an improper fraction, you just find it how many 3's are there in a 5. There is a only 1 3. Then remaining 2. So you can add 1 plus 7. It became a 8. Then write a reminder 2 by 3. That's all. The same way. 10 plus 5 by 2. Here also it is an improper fraction. So you just write, find it. How many 2's are there in a 5? 2 times. Then remaining 1. So you can add 10 plus 2. 12. Then 1 by 2 remaining. Have you all clear? Next, subtraction. It is very easy. Here, now we clear with the addition. Now we can enter to the subtraction. Uh, we can go to the example. Uh, example number 5. 7 minus 3 by 5. So 7 minus 3 by 5. Here it is a whole number, right? So what you supposed to do? The same thing. You can write that. You just down the number 1. Here it is 7. You just down the number 1. So, when you are downing 1, it became a 6. Clear? Then you can find the difference of this numerator and denominator. What is the difference of these two number? 5. And the difference of these two number? 5 minus 3, it became a 2. So, 2 by 5 is the answer. Have you all clear? You just down the 1 number. So, it is 6. Difference of these two number? 5 minus 3, it became a 2 by 5. That's all. Next step. Here also the same thing, down the one number, 9, then difference of these two number, 5 minus 2, 3, 3 by 5, that is the answer, clear, next, now, here a whole number minus improper fraction, here 5 by 3, that is improper fraction, so what you are supposed to do first, you can find how many 3's are there in a 5, there is only 1 3, then remaining 2, Clear? So, you can subtract it. 7 minus 1, it became 6. Then remaining minus 2 by 3. Now, it is a normal form. Now, you can subtract it. So, when you are subtracting a whole number minus fraction number, what are you supposed to do? You just down the one number 5 and then find the difference. 3 minus 2, 1, 1 by 3. Clear? Next, in the same way, here 10 minus 5 by 2. So, 5 is a larger one. That is an improper fraction. So, what are you supposed to do? We can write a 10 minus. How many 2's are there in a 5? 2 times. So, 10 minus 2. 10 minus 2. 8 minus. Remainder. 1. 1 by 2. Now, it is our usual form. So, down the one number 7. Here, difference. 1. 1 by 2. That's all. Clear? Uh, from this example, now we should clear the subtraction and addition of whole number and a rational number. Now we can end it on the next example, example number 9. Two numbers should be a rational number. So next we will learn the addition subtraction of a rational number. 2 rational, 2 by 3 plus 7 by 2. For this 2, you can check a denominator. The denominators are different. So we need to take a LCM. Uh, LCM of 3 comma 2. It is this you should find a LCM. LCM of 3 comma 2. So, which number is a larger one here? 3. So, now we can check the 2 will divide the 3 or not. No, it is not possible. So, what you supposed to do? You just multiply, write a multiple of 3. Multiple of 3, 
6. Now the 6 will divide divisible by 2. So we can finalize 6 is a LCM. Right? So LCM of 2, 3 is 6. So we can find it. Now we should make this 3 as a 6. So which number is supposed to multiply? 2. So the same number you should multiply in the numerator. Here 2. I need to make a 2 as a 6. So what number is supposed to multiply? 3. So the same number you should multiply in the numerator. So what it became? Actually 4 by 3 2 is a 6 plus 7 3 is a 21 by 2 3 is a 6. Now we can get a same denominator. So take common 6. Now 4 plus 21. So it became 25 by 6. Clear? Next we can write this form as a mixed fraction form. Now it is an improper. So we can write in a mixed fraction form. So what it is? How many 6 are there in a 25? Uh, 3. One six are, uh, 4 6 are. How many 3's are there in a 25? So 4 6 are 24. So then 1 by 6. So 4 6 are 24. Then the remainder is 1. 1 by 6. That is the answer. Are you all clear? Now we can enter the next example here. Example number 10. Uh, 5 1 by 6 plus 3 1 by 4 minus 7 1 by 2 plus 4 2 by 3. So now we can simplify this expression, right? So what we are supposed to do here, we just take a whole number alone first. So here the whole number 3, here 5, here 3, 7, 4. So if you take a whole numbers, 5 plus 3 minus 7 plus 4. Then we just, we just make it as a one group of rational numbers, fraction number alone, that is rational numbers alone. What it is? 1 by 6 plus 1 by 4 plus, sorry, minus 1 by 2 plus 2 by 3. Clear? We just make it as a group of, one group should be a whole number and one more should be a rational numbers. That is a P by Q form numbers, right? So here you can add it. 5 plus 3, 8, 8 minus 7, 1, 1 plus 4, 5 plus now we should add this p by q form numbers rational numbers so what we supposed to do we should take a lcm so lcm of 6 comma 4 comma 2 comma 3 we need to find the lcm of this number in this number which one is the largest one 6 so take a 6 now you can find it whether the remaining number should divide the 6 or not so now we can check it 4 with divides the 6 or not no it's not possible 2 can divide the 6 3 also will divide the 6 but 4 is not possible. So what you supposed to do? Write a multiple of 6. 12. Now you can tell me 6 divides 12. 4 also divides 12. 6, 2 also divides 12. 3 also will divide 12. So LCM of this number is 12. So now we should make all the denominators at 12. So here what number is supposed to multiply in the 6 became a 12? 2. So I just multiply the numerator also. 2 into 2. So 1 2 is a 2. So 2 by 12 plus here. What is the number? 4. So which number is supposed to multiply to keep a 12? 3. So the same we should multiply numerator. So 3 by 12 minus here 1 by 2 6. So 6 2s are 12. So 1 6 are 6. 6 by 12. Here 3, so when I multiply 4, it became a 12. So, plus 8 by 12. Clear? Now, we get the same common denominator. That is 5 plus the whole divided by 12. 2 plus 3 minus 6 plus 8. Clear? Ah, now you should find it. 2 plus 3, 5, 5 minus 6, minus 1, minus 1 plus 8, 7. So 5 plus 7 by 12. So now it is in a proper fraction form. We just write the answer directly. 5, 7 by 12 is the answer. Are you all clear? I hope in this video you make it clear about how to simplify the rational number. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you a lot of you.